It was a close game at the McCarthy Athletic Center tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Robin Nance. Sports Director Dennis Patchen here now. Holy cow, what a game. You know what? When we have games this big, they never live up to the hype. Never, ever. Think all the Super Bowls, mm -hmm. all the others. This, this one, one lived up to the hype and yep. then some. We'll take you to the kennel where it was a wild night. Both coaches congratulating each other before the game. Maybe they knew something, huh? This one was going to be unbelievable. Zags hit the first shot of the game. Micah Downs in the roof almost blew off. The fans were jumping around so much. He had 11 points. But the first half belonged to the Cougars. Watch Aaron Baines out of the double team finds Kyle Weaver. This three gives the Cougars the lead. They would hold the entire game. A big game inside for Robbie Calgill. Calgill had 10 points and 11 rebounds. And watch this one. Oh, he makes David Pendergraft look bad on the old spinner Rooney there. Second half, Zags would cut a halftime lead of nine down. David Pendergraft with a monster game tonight, knocks down the three. He had 15 points in the game. But every time the Cougars needed a bucket, they went to this man down the stretch. Weaver, the dipsy do. he had 12 points in the game. And then watch the tip in that would really seal the deal here. Weaver and the Cougars escape 51-47. First Cougar winning streak since 1998, and it's the lowest point total for the Zags since 1996. So with the Cougar win, they have now won two in a row. Our Allison Leap was at the game. I'm not sure she can hear. She might be deaf at this point in time, but Allison, what a classic basketball game tonight. What was that? Yeah, that was definitely the loudest it's ever been since I've been in the McCarthy Athletic Center. As you just saw, the Zags and Cougs battling to the bitter end. Now, even though the Cougars won, Neither team left anything behind. I mean, it was a tough, hard-fought, uh, you know, rivalry game with two uh, ranked teams, you know, and I th we battled. We battled our way back, had ourselves in position, I think, to, to win the thing. If we just make a couple shots, we, we had some good shots. We just didn't uh, knock them down. But the Cougs deserve a lot of credit. They got tons of moxie and tons of poise, and, and, uh, and they're hard to score on. Well, it was because it was so hard-fought, you know. It, Unless you were, were in this, all you guys were here, you could understand the, the excitement and the energy in the building. And uh, for our kids to battle, you know, it was such a good team defensive performance for us. And, and then the play on the glass. There were a lot of shots in the first half that went up uh, from them in the second half, and, and we really tried to battle. The intensity of this game was through the roof, and it will definitely go down up there as one of the greatest in this series. Coming up just a little bit later in sports, we'll have plenty more highlights, plus more from the Cougars and the Zags. Reporting at Gonzaga, I'm Allison Leap, KXOY4 News. And she's right. That's saying something, because there's been 142 meetings, and this one yeah. might be the greatest. This was an unbelievable basketball it game. Was. More highlights and reaction a little bit later on. It was hard to get anything done here tonight. Oh. I'm lucky that I have scripts. <laughs> Well, well I, I got more high. I do. do that right now if you want to. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, we'll see you in just okay. a little bit. All right, it was, as we mentioned, a hard-fought battle, and the fans loved every minute of it, except for maybe the ending for lots of the fans. Yeah, XOY4 Janet O was live at the game. Janet? Well, Robin, Bulldog fans camped out for nearly two weeks to see the game tonight, and they dominated the kennel, but in the end, they left in disappointment. And it came down to the last few minutes. There was hope led by shouts and cheers. The sea of students sporting their Zag pride was an intimidating crowd for the Kook fans, but the Kooks are the ones who left rejoicing. It's tough to win here. They've only lost one other game. So, yeah, it's a great victory. This is one of the most craziest game I've ever, I've ever been to in Oh yeah, I mean it definitely led up to the hype, but the fact that we lost definitely sucks. Definitely sucks. Well, Zag fans are now anticipating a rematch, and I'll tell you, I've never seen such a spirited crowd in there. It was certainly pandemonium, a tough atmosphere for the Cougs for sure. Reporting live at Gonzaga, Janet O, KXLY4.